everybody, this is Praxis. My dad and I are here at Home Depot. Uh, it's the building supply store that I go to most frequently. And really my favorite thing about it has always been, up until today, that they give you really easy returns. So it's always a no-brainer. If you're not sure how much stuff to buy, always buy a little extra, and you know that you can return the stuff. And they even have signs all over the store that say, free and easy returns, conveniently at our stores. Um, you probably already know the, the topic of this video. Uh, my dad uh, came visiting uh, today's River's birthday party. Uh, he brought the truck so that he could give me a hand. We're a little short on two by fours at the build site. Uh, we've got 70 more two by fours. And the other thing that we were doing during this trip is bringing back the spare wire lath that we had picked up earlier. I bought it here at Home Depot on a big pro order. I knew that I was over buying, but I made sure I checked with the people to make sure it would be fine to return the stuff, no problems, like, you know, if it was going to be several months later, because we didn't know how much we were going to use. Got all the, the nodding heads, yes, you're totally fine, you're totally fine, don't worry about it. And today we came back and we got rejected for our return. I have 64 sheets of wire lath. Uh, we, it, we were planning on using a lot of that underneath the roofing area, but we just, it, it became difficult to get it up there. We decided to come up with another approach to do that. So. So we decided to, you know, just you know, return the stuff. Uh, we used a ton of it around the uh, perimeter of the foundation for all the stucco work and everything, but we had 64 sheets left over. So we drove them all the way here and there was nothing they could do to help us. They, they gave us a, a phone line that we could call and request some kind of like dispute resolution that I don't know if that's gonna resolve anything. Um, it seems like it's just a kick the can down the road kind of thing. Um, because we have the receipt, they know that we bought it here, they agree that we bought it here, but they just, they said that, I, I'm not clear on exactly what the issue was. Because at first they said we didn't have a receipt, but then we found out that our receipt actually was in their system, because I have a pro account here. They found the receipt, but then it was still a problem, and it's just really irritating. I want to mention that to you guys, that no matter how much Home Depot tells you that you have absolutely no trouble, you can bring stuff back no matter what, largely that's been true for me. I, that, and that's one of the things I love about Home Depot, or up until today loved about Home Depot. But be careful, because even if you have your receipt, um, we gotta, we're hauling all this stuff back. Uh, we gotta go through this, they said it's a multi-week process with paperwork being transferred. Uh, back and forth, and uh, I would have loved if they could have kept the stuff here at least, like presuming that it was going to get resolved. But uh, it's really irritating, especially when you're standing at the customer service uh, department and there's a huge sign right over the representative's head saying free and easy returns conveniently right at the store with no asterisks. They didn't even put an asterisk next to it. So. So yeah, I figured I'd pass that along to you guys. I've generally had really good luck with it. It's never been a problem, but today it's a real hassle because I, I'm borrowing my dad's truck to do this. It's not like I gotta go home with like a box of screws. It's 64 sheets of wire lath. It's a real, real hassle. And uh, I'm irritated by that. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.